Hi everyone. Uh, today we'll focus on how the air starting distributor works, and uh, this is specific to the MAN BMW engine, and uh, the construction might va might vary for other engines, so it has to be maker specific. But as far as MAN engine goes, uh, here's how it works. Uh, the entry point for the 30 bar air, as you can see, is on the axial side, that is towards the piston side, and from here. Uh, the air has two points to go but before that we have to understand that during the initial position of the uh, air distributor for a particular unit at a one at one given point of time the roller is not always in contact with the cam surface if there is no air pressure it is only when the 30 bar air pressure enters from here and pushes down the piston that the roller comes in contact with the cam profile also as you can see that the cam profile is a negative cam profile which is typical for a given air starting distributor of any type so during this situation when the uh, air pushes the piston down there are two scenarios one is when this this particular hole that is the one which is leading towards the starting air wall and from the starting air wall this is covered at this point of time as you can see because the air has no nowhere to go so during this point of time the air which is there in the starting air line from the distributor to the starting air wall of that particular unit it flows back that is towards this direction and the orifice hole indicated over here the axial hole this air comes down through this orifice and is vented out now the other situation of equilibrium that is when the air pushes the piston down once this port that is this hole is uncovered the air now has a place to go and the air that is the pressurized 30 bar air goes further and goes towards the unit that is the starting air wall and that is how the starting air wall is actuated when this air that is going out acts on the top of the piston of the starting air wall and pushes it down and the air for the entry goes into goes into the unit which is already awaiting uh, from the starting air manifold what's important here is to see is that the negative cam profile which i initially explained how it holds importance is that the roller when it is sitting on the actual cam profile that is the normal profile there will be no actuation that is the hole will always be covered as you can see now it is only when it goes down and comes to the peak of the negative cam that the air is actually allowed to admit into the unit and go further so i hope this is helpful to you